Shalom. Alright, Shalom. 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 It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise honor and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings so for like the nation of Israel. Um, you know, I'm the brother Isaiah to my right. Brother Ra. And behind me. Come. You know, and we are the brothers out here in um, Raleigh, North Carolina. You know, we're going to do a pre-camp lesson, you know, about being in, staying in the house of mourning. You know, just because things have reopened back up, you know, people are going to uh, come out here, go to their favorite uh, restaurants, you know, uh, drink and party. You know, um, you know, they have a lot more freedom now that some of these restrictions from COVID-19 have been lifted. You know, you should still be in that house of mourning to cry, sigh and cry unto the Lord because this is not our rest. Twenty one first. Um get Matthews twenty four. You got it? I got it already. Yeah, we just wanted to get Matthew Saint Matthew chapter twenty four verse You can start thirty six. Thirty six. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Mm hmm No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. And what day and hour is that coming talking about? The day when Yahweh Shai will make his second return, you know? A day of darkness and gloominess. You know, there's a storm coming and you don't want to be caught up outside. You know, when the Lord brings the destruction, you want to be caught, you know, and be, you want to be found in the high tower. You know, scriptures, I say, what the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Mm -hmm. The righteous run into it and are safe. Mm -hmm. So you want to be hid in these scriptures, you know, getting this knowledge, getting this understanding, you know, being found favorable in the eyes of the Lord when he brings this judgment so he can pass over you. That's right. Verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, mm -hmm. so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah, so the scripture is telling just as in the day of Noah, you know, it's going to be just like that in the end times when Lord Howard shall make his second return. Go ahead. Verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, mm -hmm. they were eating and drinking. Yep. So what? The days that before the flood, the days uh, that appeared, you know, that happened right before this death and destruction, you know, mm -hmm. the first death, you know, people were eating and drinking. They were living their lives without any consequ consequences, without any regret. You know, when the scriptures tell us, you know, that we should repent, you know, we should turn back sorrowfully for our sins. I mean, what we should regret all the wickedness that we have committed in our bodies. You know, and, and it's still coming to this day to where we're going to uh, repent and turn unto the Lord and follow his commandments to the best of our ability. You know, go ahead. It says uh, eating and drinking, mm -hmm. marrying and giving in marriage. So marrying and giving into marriage. You know, you got a lot of Jake's out here partying, you know, uh, getting married, you know, having sex. You know, here it is. They're trying to further their their um their life in this kingdom, you know. The scripture say what he that uh, will save his life shall lose it but he that shall lose his life for my name's sake shall uh, shall save it so we you know you have to put everything on the line are you gonna uh, lose everything in the lord for the lord you know uh lose uh your temporary pleasures that you have here in america you know going out with the fellas you know drinking having a good time hitting on these women you know and uh much more rather get this wisdom you know that's what your main focus should be mm -hmm. if i could chime in too the times we're living in, the only marriage we're supposed to be getting ready for is uh, the marriage back to Yahweh Shai, you know, with, with his arrival. But um, when people were uh, getting married, that, that represents in this world of them partying and mirthing it up, rejoicing over, you know, two, two people coming together to celebrate a union. When the mm -hmm. only union that we're really supposed to be focusing on is Yahweh Shai's return. That's right. It says, uh, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Yep. Or, Verse 39, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. Yeah, they didn't understand, you know, what times they was living in until what? The words of the prophet uh, came to pass, you know, because mm -hmm. Noah was a prophet. He was telling them that a flood was coming, that great destruction was coming, but they didn't believe it, you know. But they they, they finally, for them, seeing, seeing was believing for them, you know. But we must have faith. We must, you know. Uh, hear these words scriptures say what so faith cometh by hearing mm -hmm. and by hearing the words of the lord you know we must hear these words and believe on them that's right so that what we may please Yahweh by shema shai and be found faithful when he makes his second return that's right it says and then salaki and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be so those without faith 
all the unfaithful shall die in their own faithfulness, you know, those without faith, you know, they are going to get caught up in this destruction because they don't have, you know, they're not preparing themselves. Scripts say what? Oh, a wise man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So the simple of our people, they're going to be punished when Lori Hawashai makes his second return, you know, mm -hmm. because they didn't see the evil far off. They were all about the here and now, you know, and we mm -hmm. cannot be like that. Ecclesiastes, look at Ecclesiastes 7 and 2 and 7 and 4. And honestly, we're going to close out on that. Oh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 2. Mm -hmm. It is better to go to the house of mourning. So it is better to go to the house of mourning. You know, go ahead. Than to go to the house of feasting. So we in the house of mourning, you know, the men here are great millstone. We are better off than, than the rest of the nation that are in the house of feasting. You know, the party spirit, that party, the party has to come to an end, you know, in the new uh, rulership, Lori Hawashai ruling is going to be, is going to, uh, uh, is going to come into effect. And that's going to be a, a everlasting, you know, that's going to be an eternal party, you know, sort uh -huh. of speak, you know. Well, we're going to be uh, merry and happy all the days of our life. You know, scripts say what the saints shall sing a lot so sing aloud upon their beds, you know. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, you know, Lori, how wish I made a second term. Righteousness is back in the earth. When when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So you should be in the mourning state. We are in this yet this day in our captivity where the Lord has scattered us. So we should be in the morning state, sighing and crying unto the Lord. You know, like it tells you in Exodus, the Lord heard our sighs and our cries by way of our taskmasters, you know. But what, if we're not sighing and crying unto the Lord, he's not going to deliver us. Go ahead, bro. For that is the end of all men. Mm -hmm. And the living will lay it to his heart. So you partying, you know, that's going to be the end of you, you know. that The day of the Lord is going to come, catch you off with a thief in the night. So don't let this time, you know, this uh, this peace and safety of the coronavirus, you know, uh, being uh, restrictions being let, you know, let off, you know, let up, uh, uh, blind you from how close we are from the day of the Lord returning. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 7 and 4. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. And they that fear the Lord, that is the wise. You know, they that fear the Lord is down here on the earth doing his will and they're in the house of mourning those being the elect man lord's only part of the, that number we're they're going to be delivered you know and that's what we're hoping to be a part of free from the top kind ecclesiastes 7 and 4 the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning mm -hmm. but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth so right now you know two-thirds of you so-called negroes latinos and native americans you're, you're in the house of mirth you know you're being a bunch of fools you know, and if at least you repent, you know, which we know two thirds of our people aren't going to repent. But at least, you know, you know, if you're still in there, if, hey, look, we're going out on the streets today. We're about to hit the highways and byways. So, look, the doors of mercy are still open for you, for you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Israelite foreigners, you know, the scattered Israelites to return and repent unto the God of the Bible. You know, so, you know, remember that we should still be staying in this house of mourning, you know. Come and uh, more, you know, crown to the Lord that we get out of this place, you know. Any brothers want to say anything about closing precepts? You know, uh, Lord's willing, your brothers will edify through the Spirit and probably God bless you much. You know, just a pre camp, you know, lesson, real quick before we hit the streets. We give all praise on that glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Karkodash. Double honors to the other apostles of great Muslim tradition of one percent truth according to the Bible real well and peace and blessings so flecked of the nation visit next time we say shalom. shalom.